Yeah. Analytics off the chain, all the channels not the same. Jake and Kyle, you know the name. Headline of nation, we running the game. What is going on, Headliner Nation? Jake, Fantasy Headliners. Hopefully everybody's doing well out there. Today we're talking about ball catchers. We should buy at a discount here, second half of the fantasy football season. We did this with running backs yesterday uh, due to viewer comments. We had to do it for ball catchers as well. Hit the like button for showing love to multiple positions here that we should buy midway through the season. Now, before we get into these four guys we're talking about here today, two quick things. One, I get a lot of questions about, hey, Jake, where do you get all those fantasy football shirts from? Well, it's viridianglobal.com, and I've worked out a partnership with those guys to get you guys guys 15% off the shirts on their site. Head to viridianglobal.com, link down below in the description. Use the promo code headliner exclusive and you'll get yourself 15% off your order and find yourself some awesome fantasy football design shirts. Looking forward to seeing you guys post those out there on social media. Plus, October is almost over. The the time to enter the October giveaway through Prize Picks is running out. You got to get in here now for this huge bundle giveaway. So head over to prizepicks.com or download the app, create a new account, use the referral code headliners, make your initial $20 deposit. We'll match the deposit all the way up to $100. And then you're entered into this giveaway, a signed CMC jersey, a mystery pylon, a Manscaped box, and a $50 Fanatics gift card. Looking forward to giving away that bundle to somebody who signs up for prize picks here this month. But now is the time we talk about a few wide receivers that we're targeting here midway through the fantasy football season. And the first one is none other than Pittsburgh Steelers' Chase Claypool. Now, Claypool is currently wide receiver 38 overall in fantasy football, but he is coming off of his bye week. So that's one less thing you have to worry about here. Second half of the season. Plus, if you don't remember, before the bye week, we found out that they lost Juju Smith-Schuster for the rest of the season. So that target share has to go somewhere. You better believe some of it's going the way of Chase Claypool, who's already finding himself on the field quite a bit. Two of his last three games he's played, he's had at least 60-plus snaps, and now they get some great upcoming matchups against the likes of Chicago, Detroit, the Chargers, Bengals, uh, we got Ravens, Titans, Vikings in there, and we know that Pittsburgh is going to throw the ball. They throw it 39 times a game. That's eighth most in the NFL. Now, early on in the season, Chase has kind of struggled with some drops at times because otherwise his numbers would be even higher, and we may not even be discussing him. We've seen him produce in this offense. We've seen him score touchdowns by the bunches in this offense in the past. You can get him at a discounted price, and he's somebody who could have a big second half. Chase Claypool is definitely somebody who I'm paying attention to. Next up, what about T. Higgins, Cincinnati Bengals? He's the solidified, clear number two behind Jamar Chase, in my opinion. But as of right now, he's currently wide receiver 57 and kind of being an afterthought to a lot of people. Now, hopefully, week seven didn't kind of jog everybody's memory, right? Because he had 15 targets just last week, just in week seven alone, his highest total of the season. But I really expect defensive coverage to start shifting the way of Jamar Chase because this guy is basically unstoppable at this point, which means more one-on-one -on -one opportunities for T. Higgins. And Burrow right now is just dealing. He's giving catchable balls to all of his receivers. In fact, as of right now, T. Higgins, out of all the targets he's getting, 92.9% .9 of them have been deemed catchable. He's getting quality targets, which is definitely what we want, especially since he can find a way to get open. He's also top 10 in the NFL right now in target separation among all wide receivers at 2.21 yards. Think about that. That's over six feet of separation between him and the closest defender on every ball he's being targeted on. That is super sexy right there. Plus, he's actually getting some work in the slot. 25% of his routes run are from the slot, which we absolutely love for that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. T. Higgins is definitely somebody who started off slow, was banged up early, missed some time, but could have a huge second half of the year. How about Keenan Allen, Los Angeles Chargers? I'm seeing comments down below in the comment section that people are kind of getting frustrated with Keenan Allen. And I understand that. He's currently wide receiver 27 overall, and he's being overshadowed by Mike Williams' hot start, right? I mean, Mike Williams was dealing with a knee injury, though, before their bye week. Reports have come out that, you know, over the bye week just last week, he was able to get healthier and feels a lot better. But is he 100%? Is he limited at all? Is this something that lingers for a, a few weeks? Because we already know that Keenan Allen's still on the field. It's not like he's lost his job. He's had at least eight plus targets in five of their six games. Hasn't played in less than 83% of the snaps. We know Keenan Allen, he's coming off the bye healthy. And he's dominating. I mean, dominating slot snaps as of right now in LA with 172 of them. 
48% of the routes he's running, they're coming from the slot. And that's what we absolutely love. And that's what we're trying to target. We know Los Angeles, they throw the ball a lot, 41 times a game, third most in the NFL. But here's the kicker. Not only is he on the field, is he in the slot, but he's also getting red zone targets. He's fourth among all wide receivers right now in the NFL with 10 red zone targets. That touchdown opportunity is something we definitely like to have as a little bit of a bonus for our wide receivers. I'm not giving up on Keenan Allen, and if I can get him at a discounted price, he's definitely something I will add to my roster here second half of the season. And lastly, this one is going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to make sure I included him because you never know with certain you know, league owners on what their current situation is and what they're willing to deal. So it's Stephon Diggs of the Buffalo Bills, who's currently right now wide receiver 18 overall. But the price for him right now is a lot lower than it was on draft day, right? I mean, whoever drafted this guy spent a second round pick more than likely on him to get him. And he really hasn't produced up to that standard yet. He's another guy coming off the bye week, so we know that's out of the way. And really, what's limited Buffalo here in the first half of the season, at least with Stephon Diggs, that is, is four of the six games, they've won by three-plus scores. They're not having to throw the ball all four quarters because they have themselves a huge lead. However, Stephon Diggs still has double-digit targets in four out of the six games played, and now, upcoming, they get matchups against the likes of Miami, Jacksonville, and the Jets. Definitely an opportunity for Stephon Diggs to come out after the bye week and put up some big monster numbers. Now, I know Stephon Diggs, the owner, more than likely isn't going to want to just give away Stephon Diggs, and I'm not saying that by any means, but look at their roster. Look at your roster. What do you have that could improve them without hurting your overall roster. You don't want to send everything for a guy and, and handcuff yourself somewhere else, right? You don't want to give up all your running back depth for Stephon Diggs, who's going to be your wide receiver three. That makes no sense, right? Overall, as a team, for a guy that you may not even play every week to lose all your depth at a position that struggles with injuries and bye weeks. So you have to make sure you're being smart with your decisions out there, but maybe this owner is in full panic mode and you can swoop in and get Stephon Diggs at a discounted price since he started off quote unquote, slow so far here this year. But wide receiver is a very, very deep position in fantasy football. There are a ton of options on a weekly basis that can go out and have a good week. I could have included a lot of guys into this video, but I'm trying to find the guys that have the biggest bang for your buck that you can go out there and get. The guys that can really make a huge difference on your team if they explode second half of the season because their ceilings are already known to be super, super high. So that's where I really wanted to highlight here today. If you do me a favor, hit that like button here for the bonus content. Looking forward to doing all of our other shows here rest of the week as well. We still have start sits and rankings and injury updates, everything else coming Coming here end of the week so make sure you stay tuned and get yourself everything you need to be successful here in week eight fantasy football we greatly appreciate your support out there make sure you get on that prize picks you know giveaway before it's too late the link down below in the description but for now hopefully you have a great rest of your day a great week we'll talk to you later